quarter of a mile, turn left onto Green Lane. It's going to be a windy one again. Getting a bit nearer the dunes now. Well, I mean, look at this. It's a chilly day. But it's nice and sunny. And uh, not a soul to be seen. Oh my neck, these dunes are going on forever. Alright, so I'm on, on track. Oh. Yeah. Ah, at last, the sea. Yeah. So. What I'll have to do now is keep the sea on my left and we're good for a uh, good for a lap of the island. Cool. Oh, this is a well worn path through the dunes. It's really chilly when you're in the wind, but when you get into the, into the shelter, it's uh, red hot again. It's quite amazing, considering how popular this place is as a tourist destination for the uh, castle and the priory. Uh, obviously, there's a few cars parked up in the car park, but everyone obviously goes elsewhere. But it's beautiful now, just a bit of a cool breeze. I think it's about six or seven degrees. Uh, one thing I've got to bear in mind with this is uh, obviously the causeway is uh, tidal, so uh, today's window is 0820 to 1350 and it's uh, 1040 now, so I've got a couple of hours. Oh, a couple of hours? Three hours, no? three hours. Yeah, so plenty of time. Uh, yeah, I mean, 
if you know anything about Holy Island you've obviously you've probably seen the number of times people get stranded and have to be rescued hopefully in, in the video of the drive in across the causeway you can see the uh, rescue the refuse huts up on stilts beside the causeway so carry on see what we can see But, uh, that's uh, a manual head up there, it's a big obelisk up there, so that's where we're heading now. Uh, that's, a, that's a castle there. across the water. Yeah, I think. Never mind, have a look later. I know people feel when they're getting lost in the desert now, but look at this, it's just, it's just surrounded by dunes and then you get to the top and there's more dunes. Yeah, I'm gonna skirt around the back of this one, see what happens. All right, more dunes. Right, that's better. I can see where we're going now. Going to Obelisk, then we're seeing Bamborough Castle across the bay there, and uh, Lindisfarne Castle there, or Priory, or Monastery, or whatever. There she blows! There we go. I wonder who got the job of carting all them bricks out here. It's bigger than I thought. Farns and islands out there. I don't know whether you could hear before, but uh, that's uh, Farn Islands out there, uh, Bamborough Castle again. Absolutely beautiful day, I can just see the, what's it over there. It's a 
technical term, the Dutch uh, archaeologist dude. Crack and walk. Just to notice in down here they got this marshland but it's uh sheep and cattle out of there. They're walking along this curious raised up bit like a tank, so it looks like we'll do. Anyway, this is absolutely
Well, I want to call that one a success. Absolutely beautiful countryside. Um, yeah, they said two and a half hours to do it, and it's taken me. Actually, it's only taken me two hours, or just over, and that's with stopping to take photographs. Um, I pop up the map of what I intended to do. Um, I put the actual track log on off my uh, sat nav of what I actually did, and um, I think I'm just going to show all the video first. There's no point in telling you that at the end of the video, is, it? is there? Yeah, well, you'll have seen what I've done. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, hope to see you again soon. So, uh, if you would be so kind as to subscribe or like or anything like that, or dislike, because that counts as well. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Another builder.